I think after every one of those milestones and every one of those big moments that you kind of take a little bit to reflect, usually the day after the night of, you kind of sit down and say, wow, that was really cool or that was a special moment. But um, for us, it's obviously focus on the championship right now and after the season's over, kind of get a bigger moment. And a, you know, we have exit interviews, we have all that stuff going on for us to kind of reflect on everything that's happened. And yeah, for me, it was cool. Obviously, the national team call-up was great. Um, but milestones for me in my head are one, winning the Shield. It just shows our consistency year after year, game after game. Just taking time to reflect on those moments will probably come more so after the season, just kind of trying to stay in the moment now. This team has shown just tremendous, one, growth ever since we came from Western New York. You know, we didn't have a ton of players on the national team. We didn't have players that were getting, McCall wasn't getting called up, Jess wasn't getting called up, Lynn wasn't in the national team. So Paul has really cultivated um, a really great work ethic within this team in general. Um, and then just skill he has implemented into every single training session to make you think um, I'm continuing to grow every single day in my career and I'm 27 years old. Amy's a legit starter in this league now and you know a future national team player for me. I mean she's improved dramatically over the four years, but without the process of each step and each stone, she doesn't get there, you know, and I think you know, her, her work ethic and her ability and practice to put everything into it has made her better and I tell the players all the time, you know, you can be a chef in the kitchen, but you need the ingredients, you know, and she's got a lot of ingredients around her which has made her better, I think. And you know, when you look at the and you play with the and Crystal Dunn and Sam Mewis and, and Sullivan and these type of players you get better, you know, you get better and it improves your game and the challenge gets bigger and bigger because they're better and better uh, and I think that's good for a player like Tristan Hamilton and now she's a legit star in the league and like I said, future national team. For me. We're just resilient, you know, we've been through some adversity, we've had ups and downs, we've had players in and out, um, the national team duty and we've always had players step up and, and take on that role and um, just obviously propel us into a very successful couple seasons here. I think it's just such a cool opportunity to play in front of your home fans just one last time. Um, we've had great fans that have stuck with us through the whole season and this is North Carolina in general is kind of known as a hotbed for women's soccer with all the great college talent that's around here as well. So it should be a great crowd, it should be a good turnout, but it's always so nice to have fans behind you. You always hear the chants in the stands. Um, feeling that energy is just something that can kind of fuel us and that we can feed off of as the game goes on and as it gets later in, in the minutes and the halves that um, it's something that will give us energy and just kind of help lift us through those final 90 minutes.